Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, I was getting exceedingly more lost with this area and losing my mind. Uh, I went back to the beginning, and I noticed, uh, technically, when I went over to this building, that I had missed something. Another password clue, in fact. Which I think was either the first one or second one. I don't quite remember. But it at least let me know that the password clue of light, sky, and sphere are, you know, pertaining to really only one thing. And uh, that would be the sun, if I actually could, you know, actually go to the thing and input the password. <laughs> Problem is, I don't know if I can do that. And I'm not even sure this is the right building to do anything in anyway. So, there's that. There's also that as a problem. <laughs> uh, maybe... Oh yeah, the password... Might... Password thing might be over here. Maybe. I don't know. We have a great opening now. All yes, right, we do. Kind of works the plan. Take this, as your wolf. Ow. I got a little worked up. I'd say, but it worked out, so it's all good. My headset's acting up a little bit. It keeps disconnecting from the uh, console. A little annoying. I don't know if this is the machine I have to work with, or if it's the other machine, the other little vault thing. But, although I think that already turned on the machinery. Uh, I'm gonna do it! All right. There we go. I got a little worked up. Perfect. Wow. Uh, 177, because I did all of this. That's cool. Sharp blade and waterproof cloth. Well, at this rate, we are going to rack up a ton of levels, so we got that going for us. Make that you was work. beautifully timed. There we go. Nice. Well, it worked out slightly better than what I thought it would. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Ow. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Attacked with resistant attribute. That'll lower the grade? Oh, Jesus. That's not good at all. That sucks for me. Oh, well. It's not like I have any control over what they're doing. But I guess I could. I just... I don't want to. <laughs> Move forward. There we go. Go. That way we're here. Is this the spot with that one thing? Oh. Didn't get it off in time. Sorry if I, I hurt you. Could, but it's fine. Top, top, top. Yeah. Azure Wolf Strike! Green Blaze, Burn! Fireball! Azure Wolf Strike! Oh, well, we should start Beauty. off strong that with the Fireball. Because that's what they're weak against. But then she screws it up later. Ooh! Another level up, this time for Rapide. She screws it up for fighting those particular things by uh, using other spells later. Uh oh. Well. I'm gonna make you work. There's no avoiding that. Owie. Okay. Alright, who's next? That worked oh, out. Oh, that was easy. I don't get a lot of opportunities for uh, final strike. 
don't get a lot of opportunities for that. Either that or I'm just bad at finding out when I have them. Oh, this might be it. Okay, so there's the save point that I probably should use. Because there's probably something down here. So give me a second. Okay, there we go. Now we move on. And go all the way down this massive staircase. This massive staircase where I'm getting dizzy. A little bit. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> What's up? I feel kind of sick all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Even someone as dense as you can feel it? Who are you calling? Wait, does that mean you can feel it too? Yep. Uh, what a feeling. Yeah. Yuri. What the feeling is. Estelle too? Yeah. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're lying. Don't overexert yourself. We can rest here and have a look around. Seriously, what's going on? Ever since we got here... If a mm -hmm. monster attacked us right now, I don't think I'd be up to it. Saying okay. stuff like that is the best way to attract monsters, you know. Yeah, he's not wrong. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yuri! If you're gonna keel over, couldn't you do it in the middle of a crowded city street? I can't be expected to be there to catch you every time. Yeah. Well, to be fair, you can't expect the crowded city street to help out yes. either. Thank you. I'm still doing okay. Okay. Oh. This is air. Hmm. What? I thought air couldn't be seen with the naked eye. Uh, sometimes it can if it's thick enough, I guess. If it's dense enough, it can be. I called it. <laughs> I called it. So we're looking at... Hmm. No, I'm not going to make that comparison because I'm not sure yet. On top of the fact that it kind of cheapens it. So, okay. <laughs> we'll just run with it for now. Uh, I do like that it's green. Just personally, I like that it's green, but that's it. Estelle, weren't you saying something about that earlier? That dense air is bad for the body. Oh. Yes. High-density air can occasionally have very negative effects on the human body. So that's why we're getting sick down here? It made you pass out in the Koi Woods, too. Really? Wow. Maybe we should get out of here. That surprised Rita? That surprises me. I figured that would be something she would know about. But... We still haven't made sure if the mercenaries are here or not. I guess that's true, but... Yeah. Let's keep moving. Nope, Rita has it her own like plans. It looks like this Blastia is linked to the door. Okay. How do we open it? It seems that we have to carefully put together the symbols to form the right phrase. Mm. Wouldn't it be faster to break in? That's not a good idea. What if it makes the door stop working? Good point. Hey, something's coming out of it. So, should we just put some letters in here? Hey, didn't we pick up some odd pieces of paper? Yes, we did. Actually, come to think of it, yeah. could this be a clue to the passcode? Seems we need to use our mind to get an answer. Let's look at the paper again. Use our mind to get an answer. And they asked the guy worst at puzzles, period. <laughs> Shit. We're in trouble. <laughs> all right, all right, it's fine. It should be fine, probably. A device for inputting codes. Please enter the password. Oh. So it lets me just type in the thing. Now I should use the theme that I assume is connected to this story because I've seen it before in one of their iterations. There we go. 
Much better. Got it! Booyah. Well, I could go in there, but I want to make sure that there's nothing else over here that I need. There isn't. Um, I'm going to eat food just to top things off. Some more sorbet. Yay! I did it. Didn't heal that much TP, though. Crap. Um, of course, I have poison bottle. Orange gel. Ah, let's just top everyone off. Screw it. That'll work. Probably. Um, now let's check equipment. Is this the best you can use? Yes. This is the, obviously the best you can use. Shapka. Nope. Lamellar leather. You're already wearing that. Attack ring. Hmm. Leather boots. What does this do anyway? Um, quite comfy during battles. What does it do? Oh, it adds to physical defense and agility. That's what it does. All right. Um, magic mist. Hmm. Let's go with a paralysis ward on Rita. And I'm um, remove that real quick. That ups physical defense and magical defense. It's not insignificantly, but uh, I don't know if that's enough. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll do that. There's cape for uh, Carol as well, which we will replace with a poison ward because that's a decentish idea. Also, I still find it funny that I have equipped the dog with leather boots. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I think this is a good setup. Probably. Um, should top off uh, health for Carol. There we go. And I guess that's probably all I can get away with. Okay. In we go. Enter. Whatever lies beyond is what we have to deal with. Huh. Oh. That water is floating? Yeah. I guess it is. That would explain the little ring of light in the little lake area above us. Well, I mean, it was technically the level below us before we went into here and then went down a massive staircase to then be under it. I'm getting dizzy just trying to make that map in my head. Anyway, just we'll skip it. <laughs> it looks like that Blastia is causing it. Yes, it is. And probably this strange feeling as well. Probably. Huh. He's similar to the ones at Emmet Hill in Capua Noor. I'm sorry, he? Is it broken? When a Blastia breaks, it loses its ability to take in air. There's no way it would get like this. Huh. So if it was broken, it wouldn't be like this. It would, in fact, just stop working. This is something else entirely. What that is, I don't know. So, what's going on? I don't know. What could he be trying to do? It's hard to say. W was that a monster? Definitely sounded like it. M monster! And it's right below us. Take it easy. You're not feeling well. And there aren't any doctors around here. Yeah. Huh? But... but I... Ah! Just calm down. The barrier's gonna fail. Oh. Don't worry. That's a reverse barrier. It's a reverse barrier. A reverse barrier? It's a powerful barrier for holding monsters. He won't get out of there anytime soon. Oh. Uh, I 
think I see what's going on now. The monster was sealed inside the town. Question is, was that before or after the town was completely destroyed? Interesting. But the air here, this isn't normal. Hmm. I got a bad feeling about this. So do I. It's starting to disappear. Uh-oh. Rita! Uh-oh. Calm down, I'll have it fixed in no time. Are you sure oh. it's no time? Repeat. So who are the numbskulls that decided to go and ignore our friendly warning? Oh, well, we're running into the hunting zones again. None of us here are nice enough to take your friendly warning seriously. Yeah. Uh, you don't say. Well, now, if it isn't that runt Carol who got his sorry butt cut from the team. Wow, you guys just can't let that go, can you? You're gonna keep rubbing that <laughs> shit into Carol's face, ain't you? I mean, I understand kind of hammers home the point, but still, that, that's kind of rude. The air must be affecting him. It looks pretty thick over there. That's just what, what we a... want. You all just sit tight and behave yourselves. How about eat a dick? We're only interested in taking out this big brute. So, you're only here to kill that thing. That thing that was sealed away on purpose very clearly and was probably for a reason considering the town that's around the thing that was sealed away is destroyed these guys aren't very smart are they no I don't think they are you sure talk big taking care of a pet is a big responsibility you know <laughs> don't I mean... go abandoning him for someone else to take care of well, him again, and he destroyed the Blastia again. Whew. Hey, I feel better. Interesting. So it was for lack of a better phrase, background radiation from the Blastia? The, the barrier's down! Of course! The Dragon Freak broke the Blastia! You're dead, Freak! Dead! Okay. Yeah, well, that's it. Show me some anger. Show me what a monster's like. What are you doing? Now I'm gonna mop the floor with you. Are you sure about that? That doesn't look good. Huh? What is this freak doing? Looks like he wants the first piece of action, Clint. I guess so. Well, come and get some then. So he frees the monster and then is distracting the guys who want to kill the monster. What in the ever loving hell are you doing? I guess that. The monster is not having any of this. Monster wants out of its pit. <laughs> Damn, if we lose our balance. Well, I mean. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> that, I'm sorry, that, that kind of broke me. <laughs> I mean, it's... I guess we gotta take care of someone else's pet. Yeah, well... That's kind of what we expected this to go to. I mean, <laughs> we all knew it was going to happen. 
we all know the setup of oh yeah this group's going to free it we're here they don't want us to interfere and then they get distracted so someone has to deal with the monster oh boy wait what i'm doing this by myself oh geez oh no oh boy Oh, repeats here. Nice. Sonic return. Oh, ow. There we go. I'll fight too. Thank you. Finally, I have some backup. Well, I mean, some more backup. Healing backup is really what I'm talking about. Ow. I'm stuck here. Sorry I'm late. All right. Yeah, thank you for joining, Rita. I'm, I'm kind of dead now, though. Power Pretty much. Okay, uh... Okay, already. Uh, let's use a Milan's Jello. Maybe it might benefit. Ow. Ah. Ah. I am in trouble. Ah! Holy power. Oh, okay. Blaze. I'm going to keep using items on me until I'm Burn. top of yeah. The dog's almost dead. Holy power. Ow. Blaze. Burn. Right. Burn. Always focusing on me, huh? Take this. Holy power. There we go. There we go. Oh, That's no there good. Go. Well, of course, Flash is no good. Oh, burn. Big watery monster in the middle of a town that's constantly raining. And most of the animals around it are so doing well. Oh boy. Okay. Well, if you're doing over a limit. Right after I top myself off. Again. Oh my. Alright. Oh, you little shit. You little bastard. Do that right as I'm doing my overlimit, you little shit. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Oh, you bastard. Owie. Alright. Okay. There we go. Let's get some progress after all. Flickering blaze burn! Fire okay. Ow. Alright. We're getting some progress. Ah. Damn. Oh. That hurts. Shall yeah. I heal you? Holy yeah, power, come to help me. Be nice. First aid. And I'm Someone please just Well. Holy power, are you okay? Yes. Thank you. You know what? Screw it. Holy power, come to me. <laughs> going to use a magic lens on it to see what's up. Oh, boy. I don't know what those symbols mean. There's one that's pointing up, one that's pointing down, one that's pointing sideways. I don't know what those mean. It's resistant to... Okay, I recognize earth and water. I don't recognize the other two. But it's weak against fire and air? I think that's what that is. It's an aquatic type. Okay. But it's almost dead. It's at 7,000 health, so we're almost there. I just need to get better at killing. I have to snap. Yeah, you do have to snap out of it. You're my only healer. Out. Take holy power. Come to me. I'm fine. First okay. Aid. Ow. Again, you over. Okay. Holy power. Why is it every time I'm walking to you? Holy power. Come to me. First aid. Okay. Holy power. Come to me. First aid. Holy power. Come to me. All right. And we did it. That monster Eventually. was huge. Hey, what's with the kid? 
good question. What is with the kid? Because he wasn't in that fight. Also, a thousand gold. A lot more than I expected. Oh boy, that fight. <laughs> oh boy, that fight. I wouldn't say there was a boss fountain prior to it, but boy, there should have been. <sighs> and I also hate that my overlimit ended up being useless because <laughs> there was no way to land a hit when I turned it on because then I got stunned. Fuck. All right, well, we, we beat the battle anyway after about three minutes. <laughs> Just shy of three minutes. Damn. All right. Oh, shield light. What's that? I feel power running all through my body. Level oh, up I feel so powerful. And you? Hmm. Okay, sure. And you? Nice. Well, this is something. Focuses attention on Estelle. What does that mean? That was weird. We made it. More things to point towards Estelle being some important plot... What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Plot relevant. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that word took forever to get out of my head. Plot relevant character. <laughs> Some special, super plot relevant character. That is what I meant to say. <laughs> and Estelle's it. Everything so far has been pointing towards that. And there we are. What about Carol? Good question. Where is he at? Oh. There ain't a monster alive that wasn't born to be my punching bag. Right. Master, it's too dangerous. This monster's Master. mine, even if it costs me my life. Um. Bruh. Dude. There's a certain point where you just gotta let it go. And that is pretty much it. That is the point. That point, it's a line, you're right next to it. Like, stop, dude. Yeah! Whoa. The ceiling! It's not gonna hold! No, it's not. Chief, we have to withdraw. We can't afford to stay here now that the Mark has escaped. Damn. Hadn't seen a monster like that in a while. What a letdown. All right, pull out. A letdown? That I had to clean up your mess? Okay. We should leave, too. Yeah, there's a reason we should leave, too. It's not fair. I wanted to beat the hell out of that freak, too. Come on, Rita. Wait, where did Carol go? If he isn't out here, he probably left before us. We'll look for him as we go. Okay. Carol has left the party. Where? We don't know. But we shall head out the way we came in. Also, I'm going to have Estelle top off her health. So far, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Recover. Nope. First aid. All right, use the art on um, Yuri for sure. Rita. Okay, and that tops us off, and we're good for the next big thing. Well, I mean, the next biggest thing after we just dealt with a boss. There's no reason they'd throw two bosses at me, right? In the same area? Right? Guys? Anyone? Okay. Uh, I should probably save again. Okay, give me a moment. Cool. All right. 
Onward we go. Head out this building. Okay. And... Something comes up, and it's just poof! You're gone! Always, always running away by yourself! Uh-oh. Although that sounds like she's yelling at someone in particular. Someone whose name probably starts with a K. It's not like that! Not like what? Like I said back in Halor! I'm not talking about Halor! Okay. If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me. I think you've got other people who'll listen to you. Huh? Guys! Carol! So he already I'm so got glad out. you're safe. Okay. Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Are you now? Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri... Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah, I yeah. mean... Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Like, he could have predicted this. He was just giving us a tip. A tip that didn't pan out the way we wanted it to. But it was technically true. There was a shady group playing around in the ruins. And they definitely did something they ought not. Clearly, because of, you know, the fuckery with the monster. But, I mean... It's not like he was wrong. He was just... Well, wrong on purpose, I should say. Yeah, that's probably better. That's probably a better way to defend him. It wasn't wrong in the sense that he knew it was wrong. It was wrong in the sense that his assumption for what we wanted uh, was incorrect. Okay, this is a harder defense than I thought. <laughs> I thought I had it. I thought I had it down pat, but apparently I'm wrong. Screw it. We'll just move on. Let's... Let's take it easy on the way back. Yeah, a little bit. Meanwhile, Carol is... It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind. Again. I'm coming! Well, join the party again, huh? So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastio work, huh? The questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Mm -hmm. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. Mm -hmm. So the Blastia in Rago's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. Mm -hmm. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Uh -huh. huh. Guess that makes sense. That does make sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, down we go. And we get the hell out of here. Once again. Ah, okay, fuck it. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm gonna head out. Oh, fuck a duck. <sighs> Ah, uh, the common rabble. So I've finally found you. That's far enough. Eat my entire ass. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. Yeah, apparently. A lot of time. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Oh, I absolutely am. Now, princess, right this way. How about fuck off? Huh? What does he mean, princess? Oh. 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 I didn't catch that either. Princess, huh? 
So not just a noble lady, but heir apparent to the throne. The princess standing right here in front of us. Mm-hmm. Yuri, but how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? So Yuri was able to tell? <laughs> well, I mean, considering he was a part of the Imperial Knights, that does make sense that he would somehow find that out. And probably already had that info in his back pocket. But, uh, thanks for leaving us in the dark. The, the player of the game. Thank you, Yuri. I suspected as much myself. Yeah. Honestly, I should have suspected it too. Quite frankly, it, it seemed it seems very obvious now in hindsight. Well, <laughs> wamp wamp. Anyway, Rita, you too. I mean, you have a specific air about you that, in hindsight, is pretty obvious that you were raised to be prim and proper, like a princess should be. Wait, you've got to be kidding! Nope. Not kidding at all. And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Of course we would. Because we would be accused of that regardless of whether she says that it's not true or not. Please, wait! I wasn't abducted! Oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Bruh. You are a complete jackass. As if it isn't apparent by the pauldrons of your fucking armor. Looking like God's damned Frieza in his second form. <laughs> you even talk the same. Like, for fuck's sake, the same sort of height. <clears throat> And you're even using the guards. Estelle! Really? Now die like the flies you are. Wow. Arrest the culprit Yuri Lowell and his accomplices. Okay, LeBlanc, thank you. You, the Schwan Brigade. And somehow the Schwan Brigade comes to my rescue? Pardon? Just a minute. This prize catches mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Mm-hmm. Catch? Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> so literally, he's actually going to save me from death because Kumor here is... Frieza looking bitch <laughs> is basically treating it like I was going to die and it was a hunt. And he's the only. LeBlanc's the only one with honor here. LeBlanc's the only one who actually is an honorable ish man. It's just. We run counter to him because we're just. You know. We're weird. <laughs> And that always runs counter to authority, being weird. <sighs> All right. Okay. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? Yeah, you did. You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? The fact that there should be a fair trial first. Bitch. Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? Thank you, LeBlanc. Thank you. The one man with substance in this fucking conversation. <laughs> I suppose I can let you have these little worms. Oh, yeah? God, he even uses phrases like Frieza. For fuck's sake, this is Frieza incarnate. This is Frieza not being an alien. That's what Frieza is. Right here. Right here. All right. If this it isn't Swan, asshole. it's Flynn. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves. 
Oh, I see. So, when they are part of the common folk being raised into the knights, they're full of honor, but the ones born into it, like Kumor here, little nobles getting to play guard for a little while, and then trumping up charges just so they get to kill somebody. Even that commandant. Commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... She's still not going to have a choice yes, in the right matter. this way. But at least I'm not going Arrest to die. Them. In the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang. It's curtains for you, I say. Curtains? What do you mean, gang? H hey! Get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? Well, I mean... Rita's going to be a little agitated by being associated with my gang. Also, I'm sure everyone's noticing the flickering that uh, LeBlanc is doing right now, right? That's really weird. Or maybe that's the camera position and there's a raindrop falling right on the camera. But I haven't done anything! It could be that. Now I think about it, considering no one else in the scene has that problem, it's just around LeBlanc. That's probably what it is. Moving on. Don't hurt them! I beg you! Estelle, don't worry. Yeah, they Yuri. ain't gonna hurt me. Not like they could, anyway. Just start walking! Walk, I say! Would you shut up, Atticor? Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling! Yeah, please, would you? Sir Schwan! We shall take these undesirables to Heliord. Sir Schwan. How? Oh. All members, fall out! Interesting. Estelle earned the royal successor title. And left the party. <laughs> so I can't even apply it. Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Wow, we have gone through a list of 18 particular crimes now? Wow. Fuck, I have a long list. Please do. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Waste time here over going my list of crimes that supposedly I did. And some of them I actually did, but that's besides the point. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? I don't recall that, but I might have. Wow, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedledee? <laughs> that isn't how I remember that going down, but I guess, yeah, I did. That's right. I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. I like how he responded to Tweedle A. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. A little. I wonder what'll happen to me. You? Probably nothing. So it's mainly I'll for write, me. you have no signs of remorse in the report then. I just realized that Adicor and Bacos are A and B. Now that makes more sense that Tweedle A responds to Tweedle A. Where's that do nothing captain of yours anyway? What was his name? Schwan? Yeah. Playing hooky because he's the big shot. Well, I mean, that's what being the big shot gets you. You get to play hooky. <laughs> uh, fuck. I mean, there's, there's got to be perks to middle management, right? That's... <laughs> that's, that's one of the perks of being middle management, right? <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm giggling because I'm guilty. All right. <laughs> Let's go. You Ed. dare mock our captain. A little. Sir Schwan is a legendary hero and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. The Great War, you say? Wow. Okay. So basically, his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. A little bit. Uh. Quiet, I say. Quiet. 
Getting on to your next offense. Uh huh. Wait. Your Excellency, oh, wait. Commandant Alexei. To what do we owe this pleasure? Commandant Alexei? That name sounds familiar. Alexei? What? Alexei? Yuri knows the crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. I'm sorry they were pardoned? This is what you get for having friends in high places. All right. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire. We disturbed it by fucking with you. We didn't disturb it by, you know, per on purpose, <laughs> I guess is the phrase I want to use. The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Okay, um, are they related, Prince and Princess, or are they betrothed, Prince and Princess? That's the important question here, isn't it? Well, important to me. <laughs> Still. And... Please, take this. Oh. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the knights. Technically, no, we didn't do it for that sake. But, I mean... Yuri, you shouldn't just turn down gifts... Just because you didn't do it for that reason. I see. What about Estelle? Ah, uh, that's a good question. She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. Yeah, true, but... The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. Okay. So we were pardoned? I was so surprised to find out that Estelle and... was a princess! Yeah. I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Mm -hmm. Shut up! You knew already. Maybe. <laughs> oh, man! I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Oh, Your up. language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... Decapitation. <laughs> been nice knowing you. What about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads then. Yeah. What? Th that's... Idiots. <laughs> They're both fucking around. Alright. This thing... Oh, don't tell me. This is the fucking cook guy again, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Well... Guess you found me. You're pretty good. <laughs> again. Again. You are the most obvious thing in a room. You're the most obvious thing in every room you are in. Teach you to cook as a reward. What are we learning to cook? Fish with miso sauce. Sounds delicious. Now I want it. God damn it. <laughs> I'll give you this so you can practice. Thank you. <sighs> Gotta go till we meet again. Bye. All right. Well, is there anything else I can do in here other than talk to these putzes? Okay. Well, out we go. Where are we right now? I have no idea, but... I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Or maybe in t once I find a uh, saving area. Throughout history, there have always been two types of people. That's right, the rulers and the ruled. Wow. Okay. Can I... Hey, what? Oh, that's a talk. I thought it said take. I was a little confused for a second. I guess I'll walk out here. So Estelle's going back home, huh? I guess so. You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. True. Well, I guess that's true, but... 
Mm-hmm. More importantly, where are we? Yeah, that's a this good question. This is the city of Heliord. Oh. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torum Harbor and the city of Dongrest. Okay. It was only just recently built. It's still a very new town. Okay. If you follow this road to the east, you'll hit Kerr Bakram, where we were earlier. Cut through the west and go to the northwest to reach Dongrest. Mm. I see. Well, maybe I'll have a look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Of course you mm. do. What to do? Good question. Parted with everyone. Shiza. Well, the rising city, the rising city Heliord. The rising city Heliord. All right. Chevalier's HQ. Okay. Well, I guess we're there, and I guess I need to find a safe point. Which, the more I wander, the more I risk uh, finding. <laughs> more cutscenes than I really want to see. So I guess I will end the episode here for right now and leave it on... I guess I'll leave it on quick replay. I guess. A quick resume. Okay. Well, other than that, I guess that's what I'll have to do because there's no way for me to guarantee that I'll find a save point without immediately screwing everything up so thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more click the like button if you like this particular video and share in comments so we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and well now we lost estelis because uh she's the princess and has to be brought to the royal capital which is apparently where she has to be all the time and uh, anyone who takes her out of that will be charged with multiple crimes, apparently. And I guess we're going to work from here to try and get that Blastia back? That thing that we initially left the town to do? And now we got wrapped up in a whole lot of other shit? So uh, I guess we'll get back to that. Maybe. I don't know. Probably. For you.